according to a study done by a deaf child, worldwide teachers in the critical early years of formal education are largely unaware of the impact of the delay in competency in children. He, here in our reporter, Brenda Cesar Radio, with uh, that report that, carried, that was carried out in Mandi in Kuala Counties. Deaf Children Worldwide and Voluntary Service Overseas Kenya have launched a new research about the education of deaf children in Kenya. The research, which was conducted in three schools for deaf children in Nandi and Kwale counties, reveals that many deaf children in Kenya have significant challenges learning to communicate, in some cases are delayed by as much as 10 years in the development of their first language. We know sign language is a visual language. That means that it has hand movements, facial expressions, body movements, and there is no way you can say you can write that to be looked at. But teachers write, if you do that, you confuse the child. They can't differentiate between English and KSL. We have a motion on uh, setting up special need education centers all over in the country, in every constituency. So we are today trying to push that motion so that we allocate funds from uh, the Ministry of Education as well as from our CDF. The study also found that teachers are unprepared to support deaf children and are confused about how to teach Kenyan sign language compared to other languages. The research further shows that teachers do not have adequate skills, capacity, knowledge or classroom material to be able to provide deaf children with this level of language support. As a teacher, I should not just focus on just going through what curriculum provides us, starting with class, maybe grade one book. I should first understand this child has a delay. So before I move to secondary skills, that is literacy and maybe numeracy. I need to help the child first learn how to communicate, have some language, then I can use the language to bring knowledge. We should endeavor to give the deaf learner appropriate input that will help the learner actually uh, manage academics just like any other learner for parity to be achieved. The report recommends the need for supporting early identification and intervention programs that ensure deaf children are enrolled at the appropriate age and that families have access to support for basic communication with their deaf children. To ensure disabled children have access to fluent deaf signers, the report further recommends the increased use of fluent Kenya Sign Language. Brenda Zadar Radido, KTN News. Now we're very grateful.